Yay. So, you're back. It's just Yay, you I'm me. home. Sean's I'm home gone. and Sean left. Sean's in another, like, continent. Yeah, he went to Peru, I believe. Did you hear that he broke his toe the week before his five-day hike? What the fuck? <laughs> he was complaining about what? his toe hurting the last time we did a podcast. And then the next day I see on Twitter, he's like, Well, broken toe five days before my hike. How, how do you do that? Like, <laughs> seriously? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know what he did. So... Hearts with you, Sean. I wish you the best in climbing good, a mountain job, with a Sean. broken toe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Where were you, though? What have you been doing? I I was in Atlanta. I was mm. at a video game convention, and I was at a meal's place to record some TRG stuff. Nice, nice. Good time? So, eh, it was all right, yeah. Yeah. Didn't good. kill anyone. Con was good. Okay. Oh, well, except for our damn panel. Uh, so we had two panels. One was a Q and A, and one was throwing controllers. Okay. Uh, Q and A went flawless. Honestly, like we had no real problems at all. Sure. Uh, throwing controllers, on the other hand, started half an hour late okay. because their uh, their system, which we have streamed on their or we've ran this panel on their system before, didn't support the resolution that throwing controllers runs in because it runs in an old program. Oh. So uh, we spent a half hour trying to fix it. Great. And okay. the fix was just to get another piece of tech to run it, because the, the tech they had was not working right. In fact, Great. we broke the tech they were using in the process of trying to fix it. Wow. Which was great. Which was great, because wow. it was like it was like a little converter box that only supported 1080p, and Throw Controllers runs in a much lower resolution. Sure. And uh, so we were like, alright, we'll just magnify on the tiny-ass windowed version, so then we can at least still run it. And then as we were setting that up, the actual AV guy came in instead of like the other volunteers who were helping and broke stuff even more. So we were just, it was just a gong show. It started with like a half hour of just Emil and Tim basically having to try to like shoot the shit at the audience. Yeah. And I don't know if you're aware of this, but they're not that good at improv. Oh no. <laughs> so. Oh no. So I'm like groaning like guys come on please do a better job of talking while i'm helping trying to get this, <laughs> this done is literally and your the, job. <laughs> yeah and like i'm down there and one of our friends uh one of our local friends is like looking at me he's like john do you just want to go up there and like help talk over the audience while we're trying to fix them like no i need to fix this yeah. i'll have a panic attack up there if i'm not helping fix this yeah meanwhile john's in the back turning his microphone off so all the swears that he's saying can't be <laughs> <laughs> that's why i'm glad they give me hand mics and not lapels yeah no kidding good lord but you got it working i'm guessing is the happy end yeah case. it just took a half hour that was the downside but we did eventually get it get it running thank god did they give you half an hour in lieu or were you on a tight schedule we we were lucky that there was not a panel after us so we actually cool. did get a bunch of time back cool that's good good and it went okay as usual yeah yeah. When the actual show was running, it actually, yeah. uh, funny enough, the actual show was one of our better shows oh, okay. when it started. We just yeah. had to suffer half hour delay. Yeah. I mean, you're either suffering before or during, right? So I guess. Yeah. I guess that's what happened. We got before. I think it was one of, our, one of our higher scoring games. Like almost every contestant got like decent. Nice. Uh, it, the end was like a, a two way tie between two female contestants. Nice. Who both had scored four points. Okay. So, like, that's that's a very respectable score. I think that's, like, that might be the highest score this year is four. We're pretty close. I mean, I've seen a few of them. Four seems almost unattainable by some of the people that you've <laughs> Like, some of them... I mean, I'm not gonna lie, even, like, quote-unquote, playing at home, like, I've messed up a few answers in my head of just being like, oh, shit, it was that, actually. <laughs> like... I mean, that's it, how it, it goes, happens. yeah. Yeah, for sure. But four is a lot. Like, that's... Those are good scores, for sure. So that went well. How did, uh... Like, without spoiling, obviously, what you did, how was the recording and all that stuff? Good time? Uh, we, we finished our stuff faster than we expected, so we started another one. But we started that one a little late, so we didn't get to finish that one. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's really weird. Uh, okay. We basically ran out of time, and we opted to... 
uh, not do anything during the convention. Sure. So yeah, we we actually had a weird setup at the con this year. So originally, what we do is we all stay at Emil's place, and we yeah. just drive in and out. Sure. Uh, but this year, Emil had a hotel room that oh. we weren't using. So Tim and I had to drive in and out of town, and oh. uh, Emil <laughs> stayed in there because <laughs> um. he was like. He was like, we need a room to store throne controller stuff in so we don't have to uh, keep moving uh, it around. Like, just for logistics purposes. Yeah, and, yeah. and he wanted to actually like be close to the con so he could just kind of take his own time and not have to drive home. Sure. Uh, except the day of the, the panel, we drove in and just went straight to the panel room, so it was that reason was pretty much made redundant. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. But yeah, um, so that was a little weird. I got to drive around Atlanta for about four days yeah how was that oh, oh, oh boy yeah people complain about people complain about the drivers here <laughs> Yeesh. really okay we yeah, have some like, bad drivers so here though here's the problem too. we have bad drivers but everyone drives like defensively for lack of a better term okay and sure. I, i'm using that term very loosely because the drivers in atlanta are insanely aggressive okay like like, I'm going 20 over the speed limit, and I am being passed by everyone aggressive. Great. Uh, I had, I almost got T-boned at least once. Great. I almost had okay. one guy, uh, like, come off an off-ramp. Like he was going to take an off-ramp, then decided to swerve into our lane and almost hit us. <laughs> Another guy decided, uh, coming off an off-ramp and driving on the shoulder of the road, and then jumping three lanes was a good idea. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, like, we got, almost got hit a number of times, not in our for our own fault it was just the other drivers were just driving like maniacs it was ridiculous and that's weird i mean yeah. i was happy like it was nice to have a vehicle and just kind of go wherever i wanted if i wanted to but yeah <laughs> i'm happy to not be driving anymore do you have any good food while you're down there i'm good I atlanta mean, food i don't what what is atlanta food i don't actually know <laughs> so i was hoping like, maybe got, you could tell me yeah like, we went to a bunch of places. Like, we went to, like, a steakhouse. We went to, like, a Chili's. We went to Applebee's. We went to, like, a bunch of local pubs and stuff like that. And we just kind of sure. went everywhere. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Nothing memorable, though, that you want to shout out? If you're ever in Atlanta, you should visit. Finish the sentence for me. Uh, let's see here. For food. <laughs> Chili's. Uh, no. Um, <laughs> mm-hmm. I hear they have good food. I have to think about that, actually. Fair enough. Oh, you, you know what they do have? They have round one. I don't know what that so is. They've got, it's a arcade slash bowling alley slash karaoke oh, okay. place. Well, it's a giant ass arcade. So I got to okay. play a bunch of like crazy arcade. I got to play the Luigi's Mansion arcade game. Oh shit! All right. Which is insanely <laughs> difficult, actually. Okay. So they ha How does that work? Is it just like a joystick and buttons? No, you literally are holding a giant vacuum. You're, yeah, okay. you're holding like you're like like you hold it like a flashlight slash vacuum. <laughs> like you're holding it in your hands, like pointing it around and sucking up things, okay. charging your flashlight. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. two, it's two player co op mm -hmm. slash competitive. So that was a good time. We played that for a bit. They had the Castlevania arcade game, but it was broken. <sighs> oh fuck. Damn. I know. I was really disappointed. Yeah. Uh they had they had that crazy Pac Man air hockey table, which was also broken, which also made me sad. Have you seen that? No, I haven't, but that sounds great. So it starts as a normal air hockey game where they drop a puck, like a big puck. Uh-huh. And then uh, 30 smaller pucks rain down, and then you have to just attempt to score. The, the big puck is worth 100 points, but the small ones are worth 10. So it, then okay. it becomes like a crazy score fest while you've got like 30 pucks just flying around the field. It's so fun, but I was so oh, sad man. it was broken. That sounds crazy. In like the it best was way. real good. It was nice. real good. They also wow. had the um, they had like a ton of rhythm games. So they had like Sound Voltex. They had uh, Guitar Freaks. They had uh, Drum Mania. They had Beat Mania. All that stuff. Nice. Yeah. Uh, they had Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, the arcade game, which I did not know was a thing. Okay, is it just that game in yeah. uh, stand up cabinet? It's like. You play, like, one game, but you have to play against, like, three other people if they join in. Do they have the ball that you're just, like, fucking throwing? They have two gigantic joysticks. 
Okay. And you like you move them around. Also, it's like it's motion controlled as well. So like if you have to actually run and jump. Oh man. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That it was very terrible. interesting to play. It was <laughs> it was a gong show, but it was kind of awesome at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. And they had this this really cool arcade game, and I think it. I know it's pretty popular in Japan right now, but I can't remember the name of it. it you you your controller are two guns. You hold two guns in your hand. Okay. They both have joysticks. One's for turning and one's for moving. Okay. Uh, you can shoot them separately to fight things. It's like an arena-style game, kind of like the Gundam games. But you can also combine your guns together via magnets to actually make different weapons. No. What? Yeah! It ruled, dude! I can't remember what the hell it was, but it was oh. awesome. Like, you could clip them together side by side, and then you'd have your machine gun. Or you'd put, like, one gun on top of the other, and then you'd have a grenade launcher. And then it played, like, the Gundam games, like, you could fly around in midair, you could, like, air dodge, you had to, like, lock on to people. It was team battle. I can't remember what the hell it was called, but it ruled. Fucking magnets. How do they work? Oh, Sorry. Man. I want to play more it's of a, that. I, that. I can that look it up. so cool. Yeah, please look I'll it look up. Because I, yeah. I kind of want to watch YouTube videos of somebody playing with that gun. <laughs> like, making different configurations of it. That sounds so cool. Uh, I think I might have just found it already. Hang on. Nice. Yeah, Dark that, Liger is saying, do I think it's Gunslinger Stratos? That's the one! Gunslinger Stratos! Okay. I'm gonna look it up right now, actually, while we fill dead air, I guess. <laughs> this sounds so fucking cool. So you got to play this then, you said, right? Yeah, they had a machine there. They had a bunch of machines for it. And they were installing some new one that had just come out, but of course it wasn't running by the time we actually were there. This is cool looking. Holy crap. Yeah, Gunslinger Stratos is the game, and it is really cool. The only downside is we couldn't get a versus match to work. I don't know if they just weren't linked up correctly, or we just needed like the cards they were asking for. Mm, but yeah. what we, what I did play, I had a fucking blast. It ruled. Yeah, that sounds awesome. I I'm gonna look love into to this. Play that often. They probably don't have anything like that here, do they? Like in Calgary? Not, not in Calgary, no. No. Damn the it. closest <laughs> place that would probably have one of those would be in Vancouver somewhere. Mm-hmm. I think you're right. Man, that sounds real cool. It was awesome. I'm trying to think of what else we played. We played a bunch of fighting games. They had Melty Blood. They had Guilty Gear, Street Fighter 3. Uh, they had Maximum Tune 5, which was a racing game. I'm trying to think of what the hell else we played. We played so much that it's just kind of blurring together. Yeah. There was yeah. a Rhythm... He this is. I wanted to talk to Sean about this. I'm sure he's played it before. There's a Rhythm, he rhythm Heaven arcade game. Okay. It took like five tries to say. Uh, it's just the game, but it's also like you can do versus mode with it. It's really weird, but hmm. it's rhythm heavy, so I'm sure Sean will love it. Oh, yeah. That sounds kind of cool. So is it just like a button that you hit to a rhythm? There, there's like a whole like giant D-pad and A and B button like it, like on a oh. Game Boy Advance, and you just like do the, the buttons to the rhythm. Okay, cool. That sounds interesting. Man, I, oh. I wish I could have seen that fucking gunslinger game though that sounds so cool. yeah that was good also uh baxter reminds me uh there was also at the actual convention they had a bunch of crazy arcade games including the house of the dead ex yeah house of, that sounds familiar so this is a house of the dead game where you you actually play a bunch of mini games you're like a, a female zombie and a like a frankenstein monster-esque zombie Mm -hmm. And you have to do all the like these weird shooting events to try to run away from like your creator. And it plays sense. a lot like Point Blank. If you've ever played Point Blank, uh, yeah, I did actually play, play yeah. Point Blank. So imagine like a game like that themed around like cartoony like zombies. Yeah, Zobio but also, but also and Zobico, I guess. Are the yeah, zombies? those are the characters. Yeah, that's this picture is so good of them. He's like carrying her, and there's like a. The earth is falling apart, and there's a heart into the shape of a heart. This is really good. Yeah. All right. It's a real good game. It was real fun. Yeah, they're in um, Sonic and All Stars Racing. They're one of the cars what? you can. They're one of the cars you can do. In Transformed or regular? Uh both. They're unlockable cars. I don't remember them. Yeah. Yeah. Weird. All right. The vehicle that was is the Hot Rod fun. Horror. I just looked up. Weird, I do not remember that at all. Yeah. That sounds cool, though. I'd like to try yeah. that sometime. 
all that stuff was fun. We nice. also did some uh, gaming challenges at Momocon. So uh, Momocon does medals for challenges now, like uh, PAX does. Okay. I don't have any to show you because I think they're all upstairs, but they're massive. Like they're like they're like the the round like Olympic style medal. Like they're perfectly round. That's but awesome. they're like super heavy. Okay. So like you could bludgeon someone with it. It, it was awesome. Sweet, you got uh, a weapon. <laughs> basically, yeah. I did. I got one for uh, getting the fastest time on a Mario Brothers stage, and uh, then a bunch of us got one for clearing a, a challenge on Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes. Yeah. What what was the challenge on that? Uh 10 modules, 6 minutes, and there was at least one needy module. Not bad, depending who you're playing with. That, but obviously the yeah. pro the problem was we were in a loud room and we had to call each other on our phones to actually do it, so we had to set up a conference call and then just like pass phones around to do it. Yeah, okay, that's pretty It took us like it took us like 5 tries and we were the only ones who could pull it off. Yeah. Man, I should go back to that game at some point. I wonder if they added anything to it. Hmm. Maybe, Probably I don't know. Not. Probably not, but whatever. So you got your challenge medals that you can bludgeon small children and animals with exactly. if you wanted to? I, I've got my method of protection, yes. Perfect, yeah. And that was it for Momocon? Nothing else? That, that was pretty much it. Picked up a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, and then got slammed financially when we got home. Uh, yeah. we had, yeah, Bagel had to go in for his dental surgery and it was way more than they quoted us because they had to take out more teeth than we expected. Really? Bagel was it just lost like gingivitis or something? So, yeah, he had, he had like super bad gums and stuff like that and he was having a hard time eating. So we were going to yeah. bring him in for a cleaning and we we're going to see if that would like lower his gums because his gums were like getting infected and they were like overgrowing stuff. So they were yeah. do a scraping stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, then they found out, like, hey, uh, we did x-rays, he has a bunch of lesions under his teeth, there's an infection there that is, like, eating away at the bone there, he has bone loss and stuff like that, so we need to remove these teeth immediately. Oh, man. And then they were like, the teeth we're removing are his chewing teeth, so the teeth at the top of his mouth that are also used for, like, grinding and chewing are yeah. not going to be using anything, and they will eventually also need to be removed, so yeah. should we remove them now or later? We're like, yeah, just remove them now. Yeah, yeah. So they had to take out six teeth. He's been drugged up for the past couple of days. And uh, is it he adorable? is recovering. It, it was <laughs> like it was adorable the first day because he was just like super drunk. And then the second day, uh, the day I was streaming on Wednesday, he was just like super out of it. And he was just like staring at walls nonstop. <laughs> yeah. And then after I stopped streaming the other day, he started just running around nonstop. Like he's got all his energy back. He's been flying around the house, like trying to <laughs> chew on my arm and everything. He's like, he's at full energy plus right now. It's yeah. weird. Well, because he was on commission. He's, he's, he's on morphine. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> he was on kitty morphine. It was ridiculous. <laughs> I love it. That's so good. Poor bagel. So he's doing better then. Yeah, he's doing way better. Good, good. Nice. Well, welcome back. Right. What about you? How was your week or two? <laughs> it's been shitty. I've been working oh. and it sucked. I'm training oh. a new guy and he's fine. He's a cool dude. But training sucks. It's the worst. <laughs> so that's fair. that. That's fair. But yeah, welcome back to Calgary where we can do the top-down okay. perspective. June edition, June 2nd. Cheers. Cheers to June. I have my Titanfall 2 cup actually, which is... Nice. Fitting because on Top Down Perspective, we talk about video games and video game industry things. There you go, Sean. There's your fucking intro. Happy. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we just Somewhere. continue with what you've oh. been playing? All right. So uh, I, when I left on the trip, I decided I was going to bring my 3DS and my Switch. So I'm like, I'm going to probably end up needing both. We'll play a bunch. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, didn't actually end up playing either all that much. I played the Switch on the flight, which was kind of nice. It was yeah. nice to have that. So I was playing Mario Kart with a controller on the flight. It was real good. Uh, I finished Shantae's, Shantae and the Pirate's Curse on the first flight. This so is the that new was actually one, like, right? No, that's Half Genie Hero. This is Half the one Genie before Hero. this. Okay. Yeah. So this is one that was on 3DS. Uh, I was using it as a travel game for the longest time. I would only play it when I was like on flights. Yeah. So this time I actually had a chance to finally finish it. Uh, good, good Metroidvania game. If you've never played any of the Shantae games, highly recommend, although you can skip the Game Boy Color one, because that one's a little dated. It's annoying because that's the one I've played. <laughs> so I haven't played uh, either of these. 
So that's the thing. They, they all got way better. Shantae is a franchise that's gotten better. Okay, cool. Because I didn't like that one very much, so I was a little turned off. Yeah, the first the first Shantae is a product of its time, yeah, but okay. then they figured it out for the, the rest of them. Okay, fair enough. Uh, what else? Um, other than that, I started playing a game called River City Tokyo Rumble. Now, this is uh, part of the River City Ransom series or the Kunio series, depending on what you want to call it. Yeah. It plays pretty much just like River City Ransom, like, but it, more detailed, I guess, if that makes sense. So okay. River City Ransom is one of my favorite NES games, and you just you run. It's an RPG slash beat 'em up. Like yeah. you you buy you get money to get up your stats and stuff like that. Uh, and this one, it's more the same. It plays pretty much the same, but like the moves are more fleshed out. So now you can do like grabs, throws. You can have an unlimited amount of super moves. You can have a bunch of AI partners, uh, or you can play with friends. Okay. Uh, it also has Super Dodgeball built into it and nice. like a, a rumble mode built into it with like all these weapons and just like four player arena battles. So it's pretty damn good, actually, if you like any of the Kunio games. And this is on 3DS? 3DS, yep. Okay. And, cool. appar I'm and apparently it up. a bunch, yeah, apparently a bunch more Kunio games are coming this year to 3DS as well, including oh. some weird RPG one. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it's it's real good. If you liked River City Ransom at all, I recommend it. Uh, 